show you how to um what what's my goal here i'm trying to i'm trying to make a velocity graph out of a position time graph right so i want to tell logger pro how to find velocity you already know velocity is the slope of what graph of position graph so we need to tell logger pro to find the slope of this graph everywhere um so the way you would do that, let me just delete the graph so it's not in our way, okay? And then I'm looking at the data table to my left, and I only have time and position, okay? So I want to do something to data, so I'm going to be doing it in the data menu, and I'm going to say new calculated column, okay? And I'm going to tell Log Pro how to calculate velocity everywhere by, by figuring out the slope of every everywhere on that curve okay so new calculated column and then this is going to be instantaneous velocity as opposed to average velocity because in the last lab the car didn't change velocity it was constant velocity so average velocity made sense to us but now since the velocity is changing we have to change that and call this instantaneous velocity right instantaneous velocity. This means velocity at a moment in time. Okay? And I'll write V and then INST means V velocity instantaneous. I made that symbol up. Okay? And it's going to be measured in meters per second because my positions are in meters. Now, this is the interesting part. You go to functions and calculus. The first half of calculus is just derivatives. And derivatives are taking the slope of a curve. It's actually taking the slope of tan lines tangent to that curve at every point. So I'm going to tell it to find the derivative. So find the slope of my tangents to that curve. And under variables, I'm choosing position, because that was a position curve, right? Position time graph. That's all I got to do. And if I hit done, watch what happens. It'll make, oh wait, under options? Okay, I'm fine. I'm gonna hit done. And look, I got a whole new column where my velocity is already calculated for every single data point. That's really cool. And then I can go insert graph, and I want, I'll have a position time graph. Okay, so I can change this to position. This is the graph we had before. Now. I don't really like this graph the way it's done because it's connecting the points. So when you double click on the graph, you can change how the graph looks. So I double click on it and I'm going to get rid of connect points. That's not a good selection. I'm going to click on point symbols, which puts little things around our data so we can see our data. I'm going to get rid of X and Y error bars. Okay. And you'll then be able to see our data really well. So that's our position graph again. And notice I can see my data points. That's what I want as, as like a scientist. Okay, then I'm gonna do um, command C. See this graph is highlighted because of these little squares. You can see that the graph is highlighted. So I'm gonna do control C and then control V. And I've actually got another copy of this graph. When I do auto arrange the, app, the command R, you can see I have two graphs now, okay? See, I did the page auto arrange. It'll do it in a second. It's just going slow because I'm recording a screencast at the same time. Now, if I go down here, I can change this to instantaneous velocity. And look, now I have a beautiful velocity time graph. Now, the part where the car wasn't speeding up, I don't really care about that part. So I'm going to highlight that part, this part here. Looks like it's running a little slow here. But I'm going to basically ignore that. Edit, strike through. So I'm going to go back from here. And I'm going to ignore these data points. Edit, because that's before the car was actually speeding up. Okay, I only want the nice changing speed motions here. And then for this one here, I'm going to do the same thing. At the end, we get we get funky data at the end sometimes, at the end and the beginning. So this data is a little bit messy at the end. Those last three data points are 
are pretty sloppy. And I think what's happening there is Logger Pro is having trouble calculating a derivative because it doesn't have any values above that to find the slope. For a slope, you need two values, and the, the higher value it just doesn't have because those are like the endpoints. So I'm going to strike through those as well. And um, what kind of a, a shape is that velocity graph? What would you guys say is, is linear? So when you got a linear graph, you would highlight your data. Almost there. It's just taking a while to highlight. Sorry about that. Again, the memory's low because I'm recording a video too. And then I can go up here where it says linear fit, this button. Or I can go analyze linear fit. It's actually the same thing. And I can put um, a line, a best fit line on that data. Okay? Make sure that your velocity graph is highlighted when you do that. You don't want to put a best fit line on something that's curved. Okay? And then I'm going to move this window. I'm going to click here and move this window over closer so I can actually see it. Notice I have all the information I need. I have a slope and an intercept with units, unlike Google, right? I have a beautiful um, slope and intercept so I can write an equation. I even have my equation here. So I would want you to write that equation large using words like velocity, instantaneous velocity equals, and then the slope is going to be um, 0.66 meters per second divided by seconds. Okay, so I would want you to write this equation out and then try to try to explain what this intercept means in simple words. Those units are a clue and then try to explain what the slope means. These units are a clue and that's going to be the whole point of our discussion tomorrow on the whiteboards. So really probably the, by far the most important whiteboard discussion we're going to have so far maybe for the next month. That's a really big one. So I'm explaining what these mean in simple words, like for every second, describing what's actually changing here, and also describing what this number means. It's obviously measured in meters per second, and the slope's obviously measured in meters per second divided by seconds. Are you guys cool? So that's, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, and I... Uh, Hope that helps you get ready for tomorrow's discussion with the other six.